Hey YouTube, it's Sal here again with another video. This one is uh, for the Hackintosh community. Uh, actually, people that are just starting out in the Hackintosh community. And for those of you that don't know, a Hackintosh is a Mac computer built on a PC. Um, actually, like building your own. So what happened here, we, uh, we ran into a problem where one was built, a Hackintosh was built with an 80 gig hard drive, but um, that wasn't... That wasn't enough. We uh, wanted to go to one terabyte. So we saw a terabyte hard drive on sale. And now we want to clone the 80 gig uh, content onto the one terabyte, right? Without reinstalling the OS. So um, after some searching, if I found out that you can't just clone the hard drive uh, and then... Um, then off you go. It doesn't work like that. The uh, cloning software will only copy the hard drive and not the boot files that allow you to boot into Mac OS X. So what you got to do is you can uh, download Carbon Copy Cloner. It's free, very easy to use. All you do is select your source, okay, and then you select your target disk, which would be the um, uh, the new hard drive that. Uh, you have, uh, I would suggest formatting it and giving it a name so you can easily identify it first. Uh, and then you go into Carbon uh, Carbon Copy Cloner. And um, to copy over about 60, 60 gigs of data takes about uh, 40 to 50 minutes. So uh, make sure you've got stuff to do um, and, you're not, um, and you're not the impatient um, person. Um, so this is going to take some time. Once the cloning is done, um, this is the part where we got stuck. It would not boot up. I thought that was it. It should work. But no, that's not the case. You have to run, uh, you have to first download something called MultiBeast. And those of you in the uh, Hackintosh community know all about it. Download MultiBeast, open up the folder, run MultiBeast. And here it is, little introduction. Just continue all the way along, continue, continue, accept the license. Okay, and now. It's going to ask you for um, um, the installation type. Now you're going to go to drivers and bootlo bootloaders, expand that. Then you're going to expand bootloaders. And for this installation, we're going to select ATI Experimental. Okay, there's also pre-release and Sandy Bridge. I believe Sandy Bridge is for the I processors. That's the only thing I can think of or reference it to. So we put a check mark in Chameleon. Then we go continue, and here it says it'll uh, it will take 369k of of uh, space on your computer, and it also it also tells you which hard drive. Now, if you have you know your original hard drive and your backup installed at the same time, which that's the way of doing it, you have to make sure you change the install location and you select your new drive. Now we're not going to do it here because uh, the job's already been done, but once you do that, you click next. And uh, it's going to complete successfully, at least it should, and you're done. You can go ahead and boot into that new hard drive, and you're on your way. So hopefully uh, this was uh, some help. Uh, I, I was scratching my head for a few hours on this one until I found the solution. And I found that other people were posting, and there's all these different suggestions. I think this is the easiest thing. The multi-beast, it has Chameleon built in. I tried to use Chameleon on its own. Uh, there was there's a GUI, a, a graphical user interface version of Chameleon. It did not work for me at all. It failed. Then there's the uh, at the command prompt version, and uh, the instructions were simple but confusing at the same time. Uh, using MultiBeast is the easiest thing to do, and it worked uh, in this case here. This piece, this uh, what you're seeing here. Uh, in front of you is the cloned drive and it's working just fine booted up several times uh, and it's working guys please subscribe to my channel i can't promise you more hackintosh uh, tips in the future but uh, this is like i said this is something uh, some uh, trouble uh, trouble i ran into and thought i'd share with the with everyone out there and um, see you in the next video ciao for now